What's up, Keller Williams agents? This is Ken Granger with Brandco, and we're going to do a little exercise today, and I'm calling it the five minute MyKW website setup. So, um, obviously, the new PlayStore websites are rolling out across the system, and a lot of agents have questions on how to get them set up and how long it's going to take. And um, while I don't think it's necessary for you to do your website setup in five minutes, I just want to show you all of the things that you can get done in that short period of time. Now, um, I've got this big red clock in the upper right hand corner of my screen that's going to be prompting me to kind of move quickly through here. So uh, there's going to be times that I'm going quite fast and you may not be able to keep up. You certainly don't have to finish this in five minutes. This is just a test to see that I can do it. If you do want to pause and catch up with where we're at, I suggest you have this video open in one window and work on your website in another. And then you can just kind of play and pause as we go through things so that you can get your website set up as well. So. Um, we're going to assume some things. Number one, we're going to assume that you're logged into MyKW, that uh, you can get over to Playster, you, everything is working there, and that you also have access to your GoDaddy where we're going to be playing with this domain name here so that we can go in and medit, edit the DNS zone file. So um, those are three assumptions that we're making out of the gate. This just means that you have to have all your passwords and all your ducks in a row before we get started. So um, I also have the uh, images that I'm going to be uploaded over here on my desktop to make that simple to find those as we get started. So I am going to go fast. Uh, we're going to get through this quickly. And uh, this is now my third test uh, to see if I can get it done in five minutes. And um, I've been close. I've been at like 515, 510. Um, so we're going to see on this, the third try, third try is a charm that we can get this done in five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and start my timer here. And then we're going to get logged into the MyKW. Uh, I'll get into Playster. So once we're in place, we're going to pick the website that we're going to edit, and I've already done that here. Uh, we're going to double check and make sure that our IDX is turned on. So this section here, we can see that we've got MFR MLS is selected. So that means that part is working. We're going to want to make sure that our featured listings are also only showing our properties. We can add lots of criteria here, but a little bit further down, you see you can add agent ID. I'm going to go ahead and add that in here, and we're going to be using an agent in Orlando, um, which uh, we're logged into this guy, Steve Glose here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that agent ID. I'm going to hit search to see if I got that right, and he does have four properties that are going to be our featured listings. So I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to come over here and look at our theme. Um, the logo that I'm going to be uploading here is green and blue, so it's not going to look that great uh, on red. So I'm going to switch the theme over to white. This theme is the KW Madison theme, only available to Keller Williams agents. So I'm going to save that. Uh, slideshows. There are some images that uh, kind of appear and rotate in the background. I'm going to choose this top one here because it's got some cool pictures. Um, and we're going to save that. So that's the slideshow that we're going to be using. Next thing down, we're going to add our social networks. This guy, um, I cheated there a little bit. He's got three. I'll go ahead and type them so uh, we're not cheating. And then his YouTube. All right, so we've got our three social networks in there. Um, certifications, he is, uh, let's see, he has the, gosh, what am I looking for? SIPs, there it is. Uh, sometimes this goes faster when, um, when you know where you're going. So we've got SIPs there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the site information. Now this is where you can put the information about you. So this agent is Steve Glose, uh, the best agent. Uh, we can upload a logo file, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Like I said, I've already saved these out on my desktop, so I'm going to go ahead and upload that there. I'm going to um, not upload a favicon. That's the little icon that goes up here in the corner, but that's okay. Uh, we'll put his information in here. Steve at searchorlando.com. His phone number. And then uh, upload his photo. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've already got his photo here. I'm going to hit open. The company, I don't know what office he's with, so I'm just going to pretend like uh, he works with Brandco. And Steve at Search Orlando. So this is the office information. And I'll put my office phone number and information in here too. Um, SEO is the stuff that we want Google to see. So thinking about moving to Orlando, find all of the homes for sale here, the most complete search in town. All right, so we're just making something up there. So this information will populate and brand the website to Steve. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And uh, now we need to work on our domain name. So I'm gonna come down to custom domain. 
In this case, we were using um, downtownorlandoproperties.com. So I'm just going to copy that. And we're going to type in www.downtownorlandoproperties.com. I'm going to add that domain in here and hit Save. I'm going to come back in here because there's a, there are instructions right over here on the right on how to set up your domain. So I'm going to go over to here. And in this case, we're using GoDaddy. Now, there are step-by-step -step instructions. We also have a video on how to do that, but you're going to see me do it here real quick. You get logged in. All of this is getting yourself logged into um, GoDaddy, and there's two things that we have to do. We have to point our host record, the at record, to this IP address, and then we have to change the C name for www to point it at, to domains at myrealestateplatform.com. So I'm going to go ahead and do that over here, and I'm going to edit this at record. That's what this little pencil is here. Oops. Wow. So if we uh, if we make it if we make it in the the time here, that's going to be pretty good. What were we looking at? Downtown Orlando Properties .com. We lost 15 seconds there. Hopefully, we can still make it. So we're going to edit our DNS zone, and we're going to edit this one right here. This record. And we're going to paste that IP address. Looks like it was already in there from a previous save. So I'm just going to assume that it was. And then we're going to come down here to the www record. And we're going to do this domains.myrealestateplatform.com. So we're going to go copy and paste that so that we're using the real time on what you all would be doing. I'm going to paste that. And then we would save up at the top. Unfortunately, those were still in there. So now if we go and visit that website, downtownorlandoproperties.com, we should have all of that information that we loaded in there. So we have our slideshow that we chose, and we did it in under five minutes, even with a little bit of slip up there and GoDaddy reloading. Um, but we've got basically the um, KW Madison theme now branded for this agent. It's got his contact information in there, the slideshow that we chose, his actual featured properties, some kind of default blog content and blog posts some contact information here, uh, all his office information in the footer, and this guy is good to go. So that's it, guys. We did it in five minutes, and obviously I had all of my ducks in a row, and I practiced this a couple times. You don't have to do it as fast as I did. I just wanted to prove that it could be done. It doesn't take a whole lot of time or effort on your behalf to get your website set up, so log in there, play around with it. It's very difficult to break things, um, and have a good time with it. If you want some help with your website, give us a call, 407-999. 0009 and any of our account managers there can help or if you want to visit our website and check out some of our other videos where it's at brandco.com thanks a lot have a great day